These days it seems superheroes are everywhere, leaping off the page and into big screen blockbusters and beyond. But before, comic book heroes were meant to thrill audiences in a simpler way. Enter Alan Bellman, a young man who loved to doodle. Today, a mild-mannered South Florida retiree, but we'll reveal his secret identity as a man whose performance in drawing Captain America captivated the country. My name is Alan Bellman, and I work for Timely Marvel Comics in 1942. I started doing backgrounds for Captain America. I always wanted to draw comics. My father had a bakery. Every chance I had, I'd draw on the paper bag. And uh, I'd open a book, and there was a white space in a hard-covered book. I drew in there. It, it's just something you have in you. It was Columbus Day, 1942. And I said to my dad, I says, I'll go tomorrow, it's a holiday. He said, no, you go today. I said, Dad, and we went back and forth, back and forth, and I, and he won. And I thanked my dear dad because I don't know where I'd be now if I didn't listen to him. Because I got that job in 10, 15 minutes. They said, you start Monday. I went to the High School of Industrial Art, and I went on and off at night at Pratt Institute. But actually, it was on the job that I got my training and the ability to improve, the opportunity to keep improving my work. And I always worked and strived to have a better job. I was never really ever happy whatever I do, even now. I always feel I could do better, more and more, but when I do a drawing for Finn, I want it to be good. I'm so happy to draw it the old way because this is what the fans want. When I get a note or email saying, Mr. Bellman, you made me happy with your work. It's framed. This means more to me than anything else. It's just a, a personal gratification that I get that I can make someone happy. It was just my art. They like my art. Some stories I love to do more than other stories. It, it's like an act of getting a script, and they read the script, and they say, not for me, and they give it to somebody else, it becomes a big hit, you know, but the fact is, it's the same thing, but certain stories just would motivate me more than other scripts. Doing a comic book, or doing any kind of comic strip, is doing a movie. You have your long shot, your close up, your bird's eye view, worm's eye view, you have to change each panel so you keep the interest of the reader. A lot is left to the imagination, and the writer would describe saying, uh, have him drinking or something to that effect, but uh, use your own imagination. It's like I said, it's like doing a movie, and you have to think as a movie with still pictures. There was one book already written about the comic book industry, but it came and went. But I had spoken to many writers. I said, why don't you write a book about the comic book industry? Everyone had a story to tell. You're living in the best country of the world. The opportunities are here. You cannot give up. You cannot surrender with rejection, because you will hit somewhere. Learn how to draw. Do not copy the comic book characters because you'll never learn to draw. Learn how to draw anatomy, a woman's anatomy, a man's anatomy. So when you put the costume on a man, you will know where the muscles are. You'll know where the hands are. I always wanted to draw and tell a story in pictures and my dream came true at the tender age of 18. To find out more about Alan Bellman, head to DetroitPerforms.org. Now here are some upcoming events happening in and around Detroit.